Now let's work on problem number 43. We'd like to evaluate the following limit. We've got the limit as x goes to b of the quantity x minus b to the 50th minus x plus b over x minus b. And the very first thing that I want to do here is I just want to rewrite this limit a little bit uh, and put it in a little bit better form. I see I've got a minus x plus b, but I could factor out a minus 1 from both of those and write it a little cleaner. So let's do that real quick. We've got the limit as x goes to b of x minus b to the 50th. And I'm going to factor out a minus 1 here. And when I factor out a minus 1 from the x, I'm just left with an x. And when I factor out a minus 1 from the b, I'm left with a minus b divided by x minus b. Now, uh, at the very beginning here, I know that I can't just plug in b, right? That would be the nicest thing that maybe could happen is I could just plug in b for x. But it's pretty clear right on the bottom that if I plug in b for x, I get b minus b, which is 0, division by 0. So I need to do something else. So that's what I'm working on here is what is it that I can do? Well, now on the top, I notice that x minus b to the 50th and minus x minus b, they both have a factor of x minus b. So I could factor out an x minus b, and that would be very helpful. Let's do it. So I'm going to say this is equal to the limit as x goes to b of, I'm going to factor an x minus b out of each of these guys. I'll factor out an x minus b from x minus b to the 50th, which will give me an x minus b times... So that will give me an x minus b to the 49th minus, factor out an x minus b from x minus b, I just get 1 divided by x minus b. So now I have an x minus b on the top, I have an x minus b on the bottom, the x minus b's cancel, and I'm left with the limit as x goes to b of x minus b to the 49th minus 1 over 1 in this case. This is perfect because I got rid of the problem. The problem here was that I had an x minus b on the bottom causing division by 0 when I plugged in the b. That's not there anymore, so now I can plug in a b for x. If I plug in a b for x here, I get b minus b to the 49th. Well, b minus b is 0, so I just get 0 to the 49th minus 1, which, of course, is 0 minus 1 or minus 1. So the limit as x goes to b of x minus b to the 50th minus x plus b over x minus b is minus 1.